I love this particular recipe because it's stress free and you also do not require any cooking oil. So today we are going to be making some beef stew and I've made a similar recipe but then I was making some wet fried beef and you can check that out and these are the list of ingredients that I'm going to be using. I have my washed beef and it's already chopped. I have some salt, some soy sauce. I have my hot water. Today we are going very heavy on the vegetables because we want a stew that is very beef. I have my grated courgette and this courgette is very good when it comes to the canning of stews. You can also call it a baby marrow. I have my coriander leaves. Over here, I have some tomatoes. I have my capsicum, some coriander stems, onions. This is some grated ginger and this is some grated garlic. And today we are not using any other spices. So these are going to be our flavors for today. And without further ado, let's get started. So by now you can already tell how legit my recipes are. I also recreate my recipes most of the time. So I'll start by adding in all my ingredients at once. And today uh, the vegetables are slightly more than usual because uh, as I've already mentioned, we are making a beef stew. And also I want it to be very big and I'll go in with my baby marrow. And you can see the colors in here it already looks like something you can have at this point it looks like a really nice salad then i'll also go in with my salt and i'm also going to add some soy sauce about a tablespoon should be enough and this is mostly for the color though it also contains some salt Wow. And tell me this doesn't look like a salad. And this is such a stress-free meal, by the way. Then at this point I'll go in with my hot water. If at all you do not have the hot water, you can also use cold water, but you'll have to adjust your time and give it some allowance for your cold water to boil. Normally for the wet fry, I would add about one and a half cups of water, but today I'm adding more because I want a stew. So three cups should be enough for today's recipe and you can see this is how it looks. So I'm going to set this on the fire for about 35 to 40 minutes and our meal will be basically done. In the meantime, let me show you how to make some spinach that we are going to be accompanying our beef and some matoke. And with me here, I have my only four ingredients. I have some cooking oil, some onion, some salt, and finally I have my spinach. And I've basically removed the white thing from the spinach. That's the stock. And yeah, so as you can hear in the background, my beef is doing its thing. And let's get started. So once my pan is hot enough, I'll go in with about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Then once this is also hot, I'll go in with my onion. I'm going to saute this and once they start turning translucent, I'll go in with my spinach.
And this is about three, four, five minutes there about. Spinach doesn't take really long to cook. And I think I'll just taste. Mm. They are well done. We started with the hill, now we have less than a handful. And this is ready. So finally, our stew is ready. And as I mentioned, I'll be serving mine with some matoke. Look at this, it looks very yummy and you can notice that we do not use any cooking oil but our soup has some oil and you can also see our very many vegetables. So I'll start by garnishing this with some coriander. You'll also notice that you cook a whole mountain of spinach and this is what I have left with me. So let's start by serving this. So since my matoki is very dry, I'll need some extra soup and that's what you're going to add here. So as you've seen, it was that easy preparing this and I served mine with some spinach. I've also added an avocado and some matoke. And now let's give this a taste test. Remember, we have some extra soup because our matoke is very dry. And you can also see how big the soup is. So let's start by giving this a taste test. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is absolutely good. Wow. And remember, we haven't used even a single drop of cooking oil. Mm. 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 As usual, let's have a taste of everything. So I'm going to taste everything. Mm, 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 mm. This one is slapping. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is such a legit recipe. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I also hope you're going to try this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.